Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So this question has two parts to it and you'll see that they are in fact linked. So we'll start off by doing part A where we're going to solve an inequality. And we'll start by subtracting 11 from both sides. So if 2y plus 11 is greater than or equal to 2, then 2y must be greater than or equal to 2 minus 11, which is negative 9. So we've simply subtracted 11 from both sides. And then we want to get the one on its own. So now we just need to divide both sides by 2. So if 2y is greater than or equal to negative 9, then y must be greater than or equal to negative 4.5. And as ever, when we've got an inequality, we do two checks. First of all, we'll check for equality. So we'll see what happens when y is equal to minus 4.5. Then 2y plus 11 will be equal to 2 times negative 4.5 plus 11. So that's negative 9 plus 11, and that's 2. So that's good. And then we'll choose a value that's greater than negative 4.5. So a nice easy value to choose is 0. And 2 times 0 plus 11 is 11, which is greater than 2. So that shows us that our answer is correct. So that's part A done. So looking at part B, we're told that n is a negative integer. So that means it's a negative whole number. And we want to write down all the values of n which satisfy 2n plus 11 is greater than or equal to 2. So you can see that from what we've done in the first part, we know that n must be greater than or equal to negative 4.5, except it couldn't actually be equal to because remember n's got to be a whole number. So having done the first part, we can now do part b. We can simply write down the answers. So the first negative number that's bigger than negative 4.5 is negative 4. So that's the first value that n could be. And so we just need to write down all the other numbers bigger than negative 4. And that will be negative 3, negative 2 and negative 1. Because remember, we're only writing down the integers. We're only writing down the whole numbers. 